The Senator from Indiana. Mr. President, whether you're a farmer or a small business owner in Indiana, a Republican, a Democrat, or someone who works at the EPA, we all want clean water. If we're going to ensure that our clean water protections are effective, we need to work together. And we need to use the feedback from the people who work with the land every single day. Unfortunately, the EPA's Waters of the U.S. rule was written without sufficient collaboration with some of the people who care about this rule the most, our farmers, our small business owners, our cities, our states. As a result, the United States Court of Appeals for the Sixth Circuit has blocked the implementation of the Waters of the U.S. rule, known as WOTUS, nationwide. This ruling was in line with the concerns we've raised all along. When you write a rule without significant input from all of those impacted, including our farmers, our ranchers, our small business owners, and our local government, legal challenges are inevitable. Instead of further lengthy and costly court battles, Congress should act to clarify the coverage of the Clean Water Act, or the courts will do that job instead of us. It's time to roll up our sleeves and provide our ag producers, conservationists, and county and local governments with the regulatory certainty they need to continue efforts to improve water quality. That's why I was proud to help author and introduce the Federal Water Quality Protection Act. It's a bipartisan group of senators, including Senator John Barrasso, a Republican from Wyoming, Senator Heidi Heitkamp, a Democrat from North Dakota, and Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell, a Republican from Kentucky. Most Hoosiers believe we can get more accomplished when we work together. And I've worked across the aisle on what I believe is a very responsible solution. I hope today we'll continue this debate. It will be difficult, but we have the ability to get this right. If Congress fails to act, our ag community will be faced with continued confusion and uncertainty, and we will not have strengthened our efforts to protect the waters of this country. The WOTUS rule is a perfect example of the disconnect between Washington and the Hoosier ag community, with farmers around our country, with ranchers around our country, with small businesses, and with our families. No one wants cleaner water or healthier land more than the families who live on those farms and who work on our farms every single day, right next to those waters, the same waters their children play in and swim in and that they work with every day. That's why countless Hoosier farmers are frustrated that Washington bureaucrats are calling the shots. Rather than working together together with our ag community and with our families to develop sensible environmental protections. This can be done if it's done the right way. In Indiana, we're already leading in many agricultural conservation and environmental protection efforts. We have more farmers than ever before doing things like planting cover crops and using no-till farming techniques this keeps the soil in the fields, it keeps the inputs in the fields, and we're leading the nation in cover crop efforts. And that's voluntary. That's as part of a program to make sure that our waters are cleaner, our rivers are cleaner, and our streams are cleaner. And that's being done by people, not by bureaucrats. Let's have some faith and some confidence in the people of this country, in the wisdom of our ag community, in Indiana and in every other state. If we work with our friends and our neighbors, we can do even more to improve water quality. Listen to farmers like Mike Shooter and Mark Legan. Mike is an Indiana Corn Growers Association member from Frankton, Indiana. He won the National Corn Growers Association Good Steward Award this year for sustainable corn farming practices. Mike said, I want clean drinking water for my wife, for my kids, 
for my grandkids. We work hard to reduce the amount of pesticides, insecticides, and fertilizer on our farm. The EPA is going too far by attempting to unilaterally claim jurisdiction over my farmland. Mark, a farmer who received the American Soybean Association's Conservation Legacy Award in 2013, here's what he had to say. Farmers have been good stewards of the land for generations. We have found ways to produce more while using less pesticides and less fertilizers. Waters of the U.S. gives the EPA one-sided jurisdiction over our ditches and our fields. It makes it more difficult to grow crops, and it makes it harder to feed the world. After hearing these frustrations from Hoosier ag producers and local and county governments about this rule, and because I'm the hired help, not only for Indiana but for our country, we wrote the Federal Water Quality Protection Act. The intention is to strike a reasonable, bipartisan compromise. What a unique concept. It's the concept our country has been built on. The legislation is simple. Focus on common sense principles to shape a final rule and to require straightforward procedures that the EPA skipped the first time. These are steps the EPA should have done in the first place such as reviewing economic and small business impact. The bill isn't designed to destroy or to delay the rule. In fact, our bill asks the EPA to complete it by December 31st of next year. There's no long hide the ball game being played here. We want to have this done by the end of next year. The legislation includes explicit protections for waters that most everyone agrees should be covered. If a body of water impacts the water quality of the Wabash or the Kankakee Rivers, the Great Lakes, or anything similar, our bill protects those waters. It protects common sense exemptions for isolated ponds and agricultural or roadside ditches, most of which the, MP the EPA has indicated they never intended to cover. We require consultation with stakeholders such as states and the ag community, including soil and water conservation districts. Given the EPA principles, procedure, and a clear deadline, this is the bipartisan effort that's meant to be constructive. I urge my colleagues, Republican and Democrat, to allow us to consider the bipartisan Federal Water Quality Protection Act. It is our obligation to debate this important issue. I am confident a bipartisan majority of my Senate colleagues will support this common sense bipartisan bill. And this much I promise, I will continue to push Congress to pass a permanent solution. We will never stop advocating on behalf of Indiana's farmers and families, ranchers and small business, and those of the entire country. Mr. President, I yield back my time.